uh, Tim Montgomery in on this as well. So BP this morning has made sky-high profits, sort of quarterly profits. Um, and I'm wondering there, because I'm thinking the candidates will be thinking, you've got windfall tax, will they increase this windfall tax to help other sectors uh, and industries? So w- where would you be on that? Well, it feels as though it would be an easy political win because we're seeing that BP has made eight point something billion dollars worth of profits. And um, that's underpinned by oil prices, which have been above one hundred dollars recently. We haven't seen that windfall tax reflected in this quarterly earnings. That's going to come through in the next quarters. But BP says it's going to pay about eight hundred million dollars towards that windfall tax. But we've heard from politicians like Jacob Rees-Mogg, who said they're not in favour of raising the windfall tax further, mainly because oil is a very cyclical business. So right now it's booming. But back in 2020, it was bust. Yeah. Oil prices and they were pretty also much pay, at zero. They say they pay a lot of tax anyway. It's about 40% before <laughs> we even start. Victoria Scholar, thank you very much for, for, for being with us today, Tim. I just want to ask you uh, quickly two quick points. One about that. Will there be a dividing line between the two contenders on uh, uh, this issue, whether they should increase windfall tax? And then the other one, they both last night at the hostings were blaming the Treasury, the blob that is the Treasury, that they would have got more through it, but they're going to have to tackle uh, that. So which one will do a windfall tax? And is there a blob there? Or do, do they, as they say, a bad workman blames his tools? <laughs> well, both candidates are doing so many U-turns at the moment, it would be difficult to know where they might end up on the windfall tax. I think it's, it's a hard thing politically to resist a windfall tax because people see that scale of profit and they know they're paying huge energy bills. But actually, we don't have enough exploration in, in, in investment in our energy industry. And part of the reason is that these companies haven't been making that big profits for a long time. So it's a hard judgment um, for to, them to make. In terms of the Treasury, I think the Treasury is way too powerful in British society. And I think we really do need Treasury reform. But it's probably not the kind of issue that's going to set the uh, Tory members alight with enthusiasm. (laughs)